Hello everyone. I am Bhavna Malik from Department of Zoology, IPPG College, Panipat. Today, I am going to explain you with demo how to make the permanent slide. The steps involved are first killing, second fixing and hardening, third staining, fourth dehydration, fifth clearing, and sixth mounting. We are not doing hair killing because we are using the samples of gametes. So let me explain each one of them. Fixation. Fixing stops any alteration in the form of tissue. It hardens the tissues and makes them fit for extensive subsequent processing. It makes the tissue stable and susceptible for the action of stains and various other reagents. Fixing agents make various constituents and components of a tissue optically differentiated by changing their refractive indexes. Stain. The process of coloring of various components and parts of a tissue for the purpose of clear and absolute differentiation for use of different dyes or stains is called stain. The nature of dyes may be acidic, basic or neutral. Acidic dyes stain the cytoplasmic part, basic dyes color the nuclear part. However, basic or nuclear dye may stain the cytoplasm. For the purpose of undergraduate studies, single staining is done, which may color both nuclear and cytoplasm at the same time. But when required, in combination of two different stains, double staining or three stains, triple staining or even more stains can be used. Now we are going to do the single stain. So what is the process? Here we are using the dye or the stain borex carmine made in 70% of alcohol. So first we are going to pass the sample to 30% of alcohol, 50% of alcohol and then 70% of alcohol for 3 minutes each. After the material has been saturated with the medium, it is put in the stain for about 3 minutes or till the material becomes dark red in borex carmine. Now if the slide is overstained, first you have to check your sample under the microscope. If it is overstained, then you have to use the acid alcohol in which you put the material for few minutes, about 1 to 2 minutes and after every 30 seconds, it is dipped into 70% of alcohol and examined under the microscope till desired color is achieved. Now dehydration, it is the process of removal of water as you know from the name. So alcohol is used because the clearing agent and solvent of the mounting medium are readily soluble in alcohol. But mounting medium and its solvent that is usually xylene and the clearing agent usually xylene or benzene are unmissable in water. Dehydration is achieved by passing the tissue through different grades of alcohol. By passing them to 30% of alcohol, then 50%, then 70%, then 90% and finally to absolute or 100% of alcohol. To achieve proper dehydration, after absolute alcohol, we should again dip in fresh absolute alcohol, our sample, for about 3 to 4 times. Now clearing or dealkalization. The substitution of dehydrating agent, that is alcohol, by the solvent of mounting medium is called the clearing. The term clearing is also used because the solvent or clearing agent imparts transparency to the tissue. The material after absolute alcohol is placed in xylene or any other clearing agent. If the clearing agent turns turbid or white, it shows that dehydration is not complete. Then you again put the material in fresh absolute alcohol for 5 minutes and dip in clearing agent for 5 minutes till it becomes transparent. Still, if turbidity appears, put the material for 5 minutes in fresh clearing agent. Last is mounting and labeling. The material after it has been made transparent is transferred to a drop of mounting medium which is placed in the center of the slide and is covered by a cover slip. The mounting medium should be of the same refractive index as the cover slip. Now put down your name on the edge of the slide and identification of the material on the other edge of the slide and put it under the microscope for examination. Now, let me give you a brief demo of this explanation of how to make the permanent slide. The material required for the process of permanent slide preparation are a microscope, a staining tray, watch glass, 
कवर स्लिप अडल अ ब्रश अ ड्रॉपर अ क्लियर एंड क्लीन स्लाइड एंड सम फिल्टर पेपर नाउ द केमिकल रिक्वायर्ड फर्स्टली वी नीड द सैंपल ऑफ द गेम्यूज विच आर फाउंड इन द स्पॉन्जी एंड डिफरेंट ग्रेड्स ऑफ एल्कोहल थर्टी परसेंट एल्कोहल फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ एल्कोहल सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ एल्कोहल नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ एल्कोहल हंड्रेड परसेंट और एब्सोल्यूट एल्कोहल The stain borax carmine made in seventy percent of alcohol, xylene, and DPX for mounting. Let's proceed. So first, we take our samples in the watch glass. As you can see here, these are the gametes. These are the internal buds found in the sponges. Some of the sponges. So first, we take. some drops of 30% alcohol in our staining tray and transfer few gametes in this 30% of alcohol and finally cover this alcohol with sample and wait for 5 minutes after 5 minutes now we take 50% of alcohol in next chamber of our staining tray and transfer the gametes into the 50% of alcohol again cover it and wait for another 5 minutes next take 70% of alcohol in the next chamber and transfer the gametes sample into the 70% of alcohol and cover it and wait for 5 minutes after this we take our stain and put it in the next chamber Now we transfer our gem news into our stain and cover it and wait for 2 to 3 minutes only. Now we take 90% of alcohol and we transfer the gem news in 90% of alcohol. Also here is the point where you have to check your gem news are not overstaining. Now again cover it and wait for 5 minutes. Finally, we take out the gametes and we transfer them to the absolute alcohol. You can see here these are the gametes. Now wait for 5 minutes. Now we take xylene, it's the next chamber. and transfer the gametes into the xylene and wait for 5 minutes finally we are going to take our gametes onto a clear slide place them gently on the slide at the center of the slide with the help of the brush or needle as you can see here here is our gamut now give a drop of dpx on it and finally place a cover slip you need to take care that no air bubble is formed gently place the cover slip with the help of the needle now observe it under the microscope as you can see here Here is our permanent slide. You can see the micropyle end, the spicules, outer covering, inner covering, and the archaeocyte cells inside. Hope you are clear how to make the permanent slide and what is the structure of gametes found in the sponge. Thank you.